Hey guys, Smart Dog School here with Saints. We're going to show another educational video today on how to find the proper level uh, on the edu on the mini educators that we use here. Now this is a, a pro educator, a little bit different. It operates with four dogs. It's not the standard one, but it's got the same concept down. So we're going to show how we pair this tool with a very good positive emotional response. So I'm using his kibble, so it's just a little bit of food. And the idea here is to have him feel a stimulus he's never felt before and pair it with food right afterwards, okay? So we're just gonna walk around. You guys, keep your eye on him. When he shows me the littlest sign that he feels the stimulation, that's when I'm going to mark. So I'm gonna say yes, and I'm gonna issue food. Now, sometimes dogs, when they first come in, they don't take food. Saint's been here, I think, two days now. He should be fine. This is how he gets his dinner, okay? We're gonna just march around these little place boards here. Now I'm going to tell you guys when I'm tapping, okay? So I'm going to start it very, very low. So we're on two right now. And tap, 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 tap. Nothing, guys. Okay, we're at a three. Tap, 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 tap. Maybe, maybe it was leash pressure. We'll try it again. Keep watching him. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap, I would say no. This is a low distraction environment. Let's go up to four. Tap, 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 tap. Nothing, okay? I'm gonna change areas. When I see that he's actually looking at something else, I'm gonna move it around just a little bit. And we're gonna go up to a five. I hope you caught that on camera. There we go. Tap, 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 tap. Good. That's it. Now I'll start issuing the food. I've got his level down. Tap, 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 tap. I think he found food. Yes, Sam. Good job, buddy. Good. Okay, I'm getting all of it. Walk up here a little bit. What this is, is we call this process imprinting. So it's basically, if he's wanting to go that way, I go this way and tap until he does a turn. We call this getting, uh, getting the tap turned down. So if he turns, I mark it as soon as he turns and I give the food right after. I'll show real quick. Tap, 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 tap. Put a little leash pressure and he feels it. He's making the choice. Good job, yes, good. Yeah, that's it. If you're wondering why he's staring out that direction, uh, he, rotate the camera around, let him see what's going on. So there's sign guys out front, and they're taking down the vinyl on the windows, and the sign, a little bit distracting. If I could do this in a distraction-free environment, I probably would, but let's face the facts, guys. There is no distraction-free environments in, in life, you know, where we go. So if he is, uh, let's say, I'm gonna show you guys, he's at a five, you can see the number on there. So in, in all reality, if there was nothing going on, and it was completely quiet, and I didn't have a, a young dog barking in my kennel, he may be at a two. So we want to, every time we do this process, start low, work our way up, because depending on the level of arousal he's at, he's either going to, you know, he's gonna require a higher or a lower number. Right now, a five could possibly feel like a two if it was a low, low distraction environment. So be, you know, be fluent with the dial is what I'm saying. We'll try this again. Tap, 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 there we go, yes, good job. We'll go this direction on that ball and push board. Tap, 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 tap. Yes, good job, buddy. Now, if I went higher than this five, we're gonna get some really ugly behaviors and avoidance out of him, and I'm not after that, okay? Good job. Okay, he's eyeballing me now, and he's eyeballing his food. Yes. Anytime I see a behavior, I wanna increase the probability, such as a sit, even though I didn't ask for it, I'm gonna mark it. Start walking back up towards the front. Tap, tap, tap. Yes, good job. See the quickness in the head turn? Walk up. Yes, good job. Little more motivation on us now because he's figuring out, hey, I, I, can, I can turn that feeling off. I'm not sure what's, where it's coming from because he's never felt it before. Let me see if I can back up. Tap, 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 tap. Yes, oh, there we go. A little bit engaged, that's good. And we'll do one more, okay? I'm 
dropping food everywhere. Tap, tap, tap. Yes, good job, Saint. Good job. Okay, well, Saint's here for our one month program. He's gonna be here for a while. This process could take a good week or so to get him really, really, really conditioned. Yes, good job, buddy. He could get really conditioned quick. However, you don't want to start increasing your criteria too fast, okay? Your expectations are what matter here. So the, you know, the increased expectations will get you frustrated really, really fast. Because just, so, just because we saw some you know, good behavior success, we are nowhere near done. We want to keep working at this, and every time we start, we go right back to a zero, and we work our way back up, and we let him tell us what the right number is. And there's only one real night right excuse me, right number, it's gonna to be too high, and we'll see shake of head, a lot of weird behavior. Too low, he's not gonna feel it, you saw that. Or just right, and he's gonna kinda of throw his head up and look for something. Once he's conditioned that the, the tap means food, everything else is easy. So, if you guys have any questions, give us a shout at Smart Dog School, 859-638-9693. That's my personal cell phone, or you can go to the website at www.smartdogschool.com. There's four trainers here, you'll see Jody, Ashley, myself, and Shelby. Any of them can answer any questions. Call any of us anytime. We all love to talk dogs. So uh, any questions, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to you then. Thanks for watching us.